is the meaning of this. And this is a very mysterious symbol, which, uh, you know, you've heard all sorts of explanations for it, but I'm going to give you the, the Masonic Illuminati inner meaning of what this means tonight. And it's going to probably gross you out and astonish you, and I apologize in advance for that. But this is what it means. Crowley reveals the secret behind the all-seeing eye symbol in one of his books, the Book of Thoth, which is a very advanced manual on tarot card readings. And um, this is the eye of Lucifer. By the time the council came to a close, they had three major policies that were going to be followed. First, they were to see to it that humans would be made to believe that Satan and his angels do not really exist. And he told us, he says, look, we worship spirits. We worship Lucifer, the, Lucifer and all his angels. They're just as beautiful as they did before they were cast out of heaven. He says there was a misunderstanding in the whole thing. He says among the inhabitants of the galaxies. And he says our master was misunderstood. And to these people, they are sold to the fact that uh, Christ will not return to this planet with power and great glory. He's going to abdicate all claims to the planet. Because this, the high priest once said that uh, Christ will abdicate all things to the planet because he knows that it is lawfully and rightfully Satan's. of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now hindereth will hinder until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked one be revealed whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Where is this guy coming from? From out of the Abuso. So he's not just some political leader that happens to be kind of gifted. No, this guy is empowered by Satan himself. Ascend above, I will ascend into heaven. Number two, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Number three, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Number four, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Number five, I will be like the Most High. That is Lucifer's five point plan of what he said he's going to do. And notice how many points do we have on this star? He said this, the pentagram quote, has one use only. And that is to call up the power of Satan and bring the kingdom of the devil into manifestation on the earth. So whenever a pentagram is used, it is probably the highest satanic ceremony that can be used to bring in the kingdom and the power of Satan. He said, go to the word for 666. Did you hear that? Listen carefully, it says, I want to live it backwards, like the Zep, whose power is Satan. Did you hear that? Then it says, he will give you, give you 666.
former head of the FBI, Los Angeles, California, retired in 1979. A gentleman came up and gave me a book. He said, Ted, in fact, that lecture was specifically on the McDonald case. Ted, here's what it's all about. Take this book and read it. And this is the book, folks. It's called Pawns in the Game. In 1776, Weishoff organized the Illuminati to put the plot into execution. The word Illuminati is derived from Lucifer and means holders of the light. Using the lie that his objective was to bring about a one world government to enable men with proven mental ability to govern the world, he recruited about 2,000 followers. These included the most intelligent men in the field of arts and letters, education, the sciences, finance and industry. He then established lodges of the Grand Orient to be their secret headquarters. Weissop's revised plan required his Illuminati to do the following things to help them accomplish their purpose. One, use monetary and sex bribery to obtain control of people already occupying positions in high places in the various levels of all governments and other fields of human endeavor. Once an influential person had fallen for the lies, deceits, and temptations of the Illuminati, they were to be held in bondage by application of political and other forms of blackmail and threats of financial ruin, public exposure, and physical harm, and even death to themselves and their loved ones. Number six, the power of our resources must remain invisible until the very moment when it has gained the strength that no cunning or force can undermine it. And if you will notice, it's been a very, uh, no, very few people know about the Illuminati, so they have maintained their invisibility until most recently. Number seven, advocated mob psychology to obtain control of the masses. Number eight, use alcohol, drugs, moral corruption, and all forms of vice to systematically corrupt the youth of the nation. What's the point? You know, what's the end goal? And he said the end goal is to get everybody chipped, to control the whole society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger, for we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, it is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. 